So, continuing on with our 2019 trend, mm -hmm. we have Kiss Cosmetics here. We're going to be talking about some of their slay trends for the year. Yes. So, Kiss is well known right now for their press-on nails. Mm. And press-on nails are making their way. They're coming on back, you know what I'm saying? So, Kiss is definitely one of the heavy hitters in that area because they have some really nice press-ons. But what people are forgetting is that Kiss has been around for years and it actually has a, they actually have a lot of other products mm -hmm. um, that women love that mm -hmm. we all are very very familiar with and like love. Ruby Kisses yes, which can be like found Ruby at Kisses. local beauty supply stores. Exactly okay. and what's funny is I did not know I've been using Ruby Kisses for years mm -hmm. but I didn't know that it was under Kiss so that is new information to me but yes Ruby Kisses is their baby and they're falling right in line with the new trend. Yes. Um, glitter and holographic are in. Holograph holographic. That's Excuse right, me. <laughs> Jeez. Tongue twisters. But holographic, neons, the futuristic look is in. Yes. And they're falling right in line, making sure that we can get that look. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are going to the salons to get that look, obviously. Yeah. But now you can do it right at home with their yeah. new nail polish. Um, and it is holographic nail polish. It has glitter. So you basically can do this at home and it's definitely a lot better than the regular glitter that you would get in the local beauty supply stores or any they're usually like the clear ones that you can get okay and you put that one little coat and it doesn't work and you have to put some more on yeah these are definitely stronger um, and they're obviously more affordable so when you go to the nail salon you know you're gonna have to spend a little buck to get yeah, that look it's like they charge me ten dollars per right. nail yes. to get the look yes so definitely love and ruby kiss is coming out with that and like I said futuristic neons holographics are in you can find it on all of the social platforms everybody's rocking it all yes. of our favorite youtubers and vloggers like yes. jackie Ina, um it's my ray ray it's my ray ray okay. uh kim kardashian all rocking the neons and the and way to win. pop it off and when her blogger. feed is amazing yeah, she has a whole neon feed yes going on right definitely now, definitely all right so now that i've told you a little bit about what's going on here i'm going to actually show you guys because you know you guys like to see what it can do mm -hmm. right um they come in six different colors the nail polishes and we have four of them right here in front of us but I'm gonna pick mermaid tail all right and this one is really really uh, just giving me that futuristic vibe actually the packaging as well gives me the futuristic. I love this so cute and I love when um, companies take the time to go into detail make sure they give us something cute to look at as well because we got a lot of these so just like your regular nail polish I'm gonna go over my pointer here I'm not sure if Rob you could have zoom in. Skills, girl. You're oh, painting girl. in the air. <laughs> I'm painting in the futuristic. Futuristic. She's already yes. in 2020. Yes. Girl gets it done. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're gonna do that one little nail. I'm shaking actually, but it actually looks. I love it. Let's I love it. it. Okay. So you ready? So I don't know if Rob can zoom in, but as you can see. Oh. I just did a little bit. I didn't even really do a coat like that. This looks yes. like what I paid for, actually. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. And you paid you paid ten dollars for ten dollars per nail. I right? still rock with Don't you. Don't look guys. at the rest. That's a little expensive. My nails aren't done. So if you guys want the look for less, definitely check out Kiss. They have the look, the 2019 style trend right here yes. for less, and you can find it in your local beauty supply store. Yes, Ruby Kisses is getting it, y'all. I'm finishing my nails. <laughs> hey neighbors, for today's friendly neighbor tip, top your holographic nail polish off with Ruby Kisses Star Crutch. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me ice you out, girl. Ice me out. <laughs> Ooh, in a purple? Yes. Okay. All right. And this a little dab with the Give me a little, <gasps> give me a little Ooh, bling. pretty. Look at that. Blink it out. In there. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I like this part of the segment because we're going to be talking about something that I definitely need. Mm -hmm. You know, I do makeup. And I do it for myself, for my channel, but I also have clients that I do makeup for. And the biggest and most essential part of doing makeup is the application. And you need brushes for application. Yes. So I'm always on the hunt for something good, affordable. Some of the makeup, some of the makeup brands that have brushes, they can be really expensive. So 
it can be a little hard finding yeah. some brushes um, that are affordable. Yeah, and still I've experienced do that. that myself. Yeah, you know I like to ball on a budget. I'm yeah. always we promoting all balling on a budget. We all do. But for my face, I feel like it deserves the best. It you does. know, yeah. but I don't want to yeah. spend too much money on makeup brushes. Yeah. But then I don't want something cheap that's like shedding on my face as well. Exactly, shedding is like a major mm -hmm. with like cheaper brushes most times you might have the shedding issue so like i said i've been on the hunt for some brushes right and okay. i've been trying out new brands and uh, you know I, I talked to nicole and she had some brushes that were sent so she put me on to okay. that new she's new. always putting you on to the <laughs> like <new> lord london <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so we have some new brushes here, and these are from Black Pink Cosmetics, mm -hmm. right? Kind of sound like me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So they have an array of brushes, a kabuki brushes, they've got a fan brush, they've got a foundation brush, a powder brush, a blending sponge mm. brush. So it's a lot going on over here. Okay. You get everything that you need for makeup application. Um, so I'm definitely excited to share what I have here okay. with you. Um, but before we get into that, I definitely want to touch base on the two different types of brushes that you can get. Okay. Obviously synthetic and you can get human hair brushes. Okay. A lot of people are going to gravitate towards human hair brushes mm -hmm. because they feel like, you know what I'm saying, you get more bang for your buck, it's, it's better for you. But it actually isn't because you're harming animals. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're, you're dealing with a lot when it comes to the human hair brushes as well. Expense is the major, right? Yeah. But the synthetic brushes are on the come up and we have found some here. So synthetic brushes are actually helpful too because they're easier to clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not harming any animals. They're vegan. And um, which is also good too, if you have a vegan or an animal allergy, right. you don't want to use a human hair brush and because I, it can break out your face. And I definitely have been breaking out lately mm -hmm. and I had to really learn the hard way with some brushes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a major too. Some people are allergic to brushes and don't even know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's a major. Um, like I said, it's easier to clean and you don't absorb as much products you can actually oh, that's exactly good. save your little bit of coin mm -hmm. yes all about saving a coin honey yes oh and easy to clean did i mention easy yes. to clean definitely a big plus because i myself i have to i break out so i definitely have to brush my wash my brushes every week after application make sure they're clean so that over time can cause shedding you have yeah. a lot of issues with that so it's very good for me to not one not only be able to clean them fast and easier which is great with synthetic brushes, but also be able to not have shedding. Yeah. So, so I'm going to show you guys some of my three heavy hitters from the whole collection, my favorite brushes that I could definitely use every day. So I would probably take them everywhere with me. Um, the first one is the powder brush. Okay. All right. And the powder brush can be used for foundation. You can use foundation if you wanted to, but it's really a powder brush. You're supposed to use it for blush, your translucent powders like this one here. And this is what this one looks like. Let me go ahead and hurry up and show it to you guys really fast. But look Ooh, at it, isn't it nice. cute? It's yeah. very sleek, very soft. Mm -hmm. I love that. And a lot of brushes, sometimes it you'll get some, br some brushes that are very expensive, but still harsh yeah. on the skin and yeah. hard. This is super soft, I love it. Mm -hmm. So I know my clients will love this one. All right, and then you have your blending sponge. So that's you're the most important. With, it's to very me, important. Honey, okay, you need your a face staple blending sponge. Very well blended. Yes. Okay, blending sponges definitely help with blending out your foundation, your contour, giving you, you that finished look. Yes, you can put yes. in your highlight. You can also go in with some translucent powder to set your highlight. Um, so this little area here. But what's Gray's crazy unique, excuse me, crazy unique is that it has this handle. Yes. I love the handle. So you would usually have a sponge, but this has a cute little handle and just makes it even easier to dab it. So you can also use this for foundation, mm -hmm. um, your highlight, your concealer, all right, in those areas and blending out. So you definitely could use this. Another staple in my kit. And then my favorite, this mm -hmm. one here. Okay, it's And this so is your pretty. large fan brush. Yes. I never even used to gravitate towards fan brushes, but how can you say no to this? That one? is that is it's for the so extra huge. girl like me when I just need that extreme yes. highlights. <laughs> exactly what it's used for. So this this um, brush is actually for applying highlights. So you would use it right about here, over here your nose, the tip of your nose, mm -hmm. just adding your highlight. And I'm actually going to show on the shell. Oh, okay. On me? We'll just use your arm. Okay. <laughs> highlight me, honey. Highlight your <laughs> arm. Okay, so this, um, we got this here from Sistar Cosmetics, their Lit and Glow palette. Lit and Glow, that's yes. so neat. So we're going to use this shade here. And what you would do is just go back and forth in a sweeping motion onto your highlight. I'm trying not to, I'm wearing all white. <laughs> I always have on all white. <laughs> 
I don't know, it's my thing. But yeah, so you just go back and forth onto your highlight. Me with the highlight. Yes. <laughs> and what you go ahead and just in sweeping motions. Look at that. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, glisten in honey. Yes. Give yes. me more. 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 <laughs> more. But yeah, so you can use this uh, right around where you would highlight um, regularly, or you can even do your little clap coat. Yes. You know? Can, right? you, can you hit me right there? Yes. Actually? Oh, sure, I can. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Get the little area, right? So you can use this anywhere. And since it's huge, large fan brush, definitely using it around those areas mm -hmm. helps your shoulder add a little shimmer. Love it. Yes. Love it. So yeah. Now these, these are brushes, brushes are exclusive. Like we said, um, they are new, new. The new, but new. remember, just because they are cheaper and synthetic does yeah. not mean that they are not good quality. Mm -hmm. Synthetic fiber is changing the, the game. game. Okay, so definitely leave us a comment if you are interested on how you can get your hand on these brushes, yes. and stay tuned for our next segment. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. We'll be right back. Hey, neighbor. 